Hi! In this video, you're gonna learn about the Subgraph node, the key to creating very complex UI structures. Let's get started. So, a Subgraph node is mainly used to be able to manage very complex UI flows. In this particular example that uh, you see here, you can see that uh, the first uh, node is connected to two and three, and four and five is connected to the third node. These are also view names. And uh, let's see it in, uh, in action, just so you know what uh, we're working with. Now, okay. So we are in number one right now. I'm gonna leave the graph here right in the center and let's go to number two and here we can go either back to one or we can go to number three from here we can go back to number two or we can go to four and five so we are here right now let's go to three or five how can we make this uh, graph a bit smaller? Well, we can uh, make it in several graphs, several smaller graphs, in a, a graph inside another graph. So what the <clears throat> what can do is we can separate these four nodes into a subgraph and then another subgraph inside of this one. And let me show you what I mean. Let's uh, create a subgraph node. Right click on the graph area and create a subgraph. And let's uh, create a subgraph. Let's copy these nodes. So there are two, two distinct uh, things. One is the subgraph node, and another thing is a subgraph. A subgraph is an asset, and a subgraph node is uh, a container that activates and uses that asset, that graph, actually. So let's copy this. I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to create a new subgraph. And I'm going to call it E9 subgraph, subgraph, save. So we, and let's open it. You will notice, unlike a normal graph, a subgraph has an enter and an exit nodes. Let's paste the nodes that we just copied. And let's assume that enter is our node one. So let's copy here. And that's it. And our exit is back to our node one. So here and here. And that's it. Let's uh, save. And let's go back to our um, initial graph. Let's delete these nodes because we already have them there. And when we want to see the second uh, and we want to enter the other part of the graph. Yeah, that's it. We'll double click on it and you have another subgraph. And also notice that you have tabs. So we are now in the, in the subgraph under this graph. So let's press play and let's see what happens. Let me make this a bit smaller and you will see that the UI works as it did before, but we are, and here you can see what active node, the name of the node that is active. And if I go back to one, we'll come back here. There you go. Let's uh, go back to two. Let's double click and enter the subgraph. And let's go back to one. And when the exit state, so you can see, <clears throat> you can uh, travel between a graph and a subgraph and you can go even deeper. So you can nest them and have as many as you may need. And we're going to create another subgraph inside this graph. So you can imagine the complexities that you can create and so on. And let's go to three, four, and we want this to be another subgraph. Five, three, two, one. And of course, now we are back here. Okay, so let's create another subgraph inside our subgraph. <laughs> let's come here and let's uh, rename this to subgraph one. Let's double click. 
I'm double clicking on it. And uh, yeah, you can also click open subgraph from here, but if you're in the graph, it's easier to double click it and you'll enter it, step inside of it. And now what I can see again is that I have one exit towards this, these nodes. You can have two or 100 nodes, so you can have very complex uh, graphs uh, nested one in another. And of course, a subgraph, what I didn't show you, like I said, is an asset. So they are here. Of course, they will, they will uh, be added to your build if you use them. And now let's create another subgraph. Look here in the project view. I'm going to create one more. Again, we create a subgraph node. This is the node. And we're going to create, we're going to copy these nodes. Let's create a subgraph and call it uh, E9 subgraph number two. And let's save. Notice that it will get created here, a new file. And let's open it. And again, let's uh, paste the two nodes. And we will assume that this is the node three. Actually, when we are from three to four, no, this is the node three that we go, we go back to. And let's go back. Let's delete those two. Let's come here. And when we go to four, and when we come back, yeah, that's it. And now let's uh, enter play mode. So, This is your main graph, and notice the tabs here. If I click two, it will go to subgraph one and activate it. So two, and let's enter it, double click, and we are in this node. So when we enter, this is exactly the, this is actually the start node of this subgraph. And this is the exit node so, so that we can go back to our main graph. Yeah, it's that easy. So I'm going to step in. Now let's go to number three. And if you click four, we go in another level, another subgraph inside the subgraph. And again, I can double click and notice that we're in a, under a subgraph that is under a graph. Look at the tabs. Yeah. And here we can say five, four, and we're inside the subgraph. And if I click three, it will go back to the exit. And it will come from here. This is the exit and return here. Yeah, again, if I click one, it goes to the exit and it returns here. Two, one. And uh, that's it. You can also, if you're uh, looking at your graph, you can also see where exactly you are. And if you go here, you will see that the active node is a subgraph. Actually, this is the, the node name and I'm gonna rename it. Let's uh, maximize. And uh, let's call it uh, subgraph two. All right, and if I click it, we'll see subgraph two. Yeah. That's it. The subgraph node uh, will help you create very complex UIs. And remember that they're just assets in your uh, folder, in your project, and they will get uh, added to your build when you create your uh, project. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much.